welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I am sharing what I'm putting in my kids' stockings this year. I have a soon-to-be 13-year-old boy, a soon-to-be 8-year-old boy, and a just-turned 4-year-old daughter. So if you have kids that are about the same age, hopefully this video will give you some ideas. I also have some things in this haul for my dogs. I always like to get my dogs something for Christmas, my Pomeranian especially. Um, she has always, like she knows when it's Christmas and we're opening presents. She'll sit there and wait on her present. So I always like to include my dogs at Christmas. So I got some stuff for all three of them. Um, but most of this stuff I got in store. I got a lot of stuff at Five Below. That's one of my favorite places to shop for stock and stuffers. I got some stuff from Big Lots. There's only like one thing I ordered online, but we'll get to that. So um, a lot of this stuff you could run out and grab if you wanted to. You don't have to order it online. But when we are done with this haul, I'm going to do some wrapping as well. Um, I need to get some of that out of the way. I still have some stuff coming in the mail that's not here yet, but I at least want to get this much wrapped, and then I'll worry about that when it comes in. And I also have just a few gifts I'll share as well that I got for my family members. I'm not going to call names when I share the gifts, but I'm hoping that when you see the gifts, you have somebody in mind that it might be a good idea for. So that's what my plan is for that. But anyways, let's go ahead and get into this haul. I think I'll start with my kids' Christmas Eve bags first. I'll share what I got for those. By the way, my dog is barking outside. She will bark at the littlest stuff. So just excuse that if you can hear it. All right, so for the Christmas Eve bags, I just picked up a pack of these assorted gift bags from Ross, and that's what I'm gonna put their stuff in. So in their Christmas Eve gift, I like to include some kind of little fun activity they can do. And this year I picked up some little gingerbread kits. So this one I got for Kai. Um, by the way, these are from Big Lots, I believe. No, Five Below. <laughs> I got them from Five Below. Um, but this is a Hershey's. Uh, and I got this one for him because he likes, you know, chocolate and Hershey's. And so I got that one for him. These are little minis, by the way. For Kane, he's my Oreo man. So I got him this Oreo one. And then for Ray, I got her the Sour Patch. Also to go in their bags, I got them each an Elf on the Shelf Hot Cocoa Bomb. These are from Target, I'm pretty sure. Um, but they're just little elf on the shelf cocoa bombs, so they'll each get one of those. And I don't know if y'all remember my Sam's Club shop with me back in the fall. I saw these slippers and I couldn't really get them at the time because I had my kids with me, but I went back and got them. They are the Squishmallow brand and they were about $10. I think they were $10.98. So I got these for Ray. I got these little, I guess these are little monsters. I got that for Kane. And then for Kai, I got the little pugs, but they are the softest, squishiest little slippers. So I thought they would like those. And also, I like that they can wear these year round. They're not, you know, Christmas themed and they have to put them away after Christmas. They can enjoy them all year round. Sometimes I'll also throw in pajamas in my kids' Christmas Eve bags, but they've already got so many pajamas this year that they really just don't need any more. So I just stuck to the slippers and like I said, they can wear those all year round. All right, and so that's all that's going in their bags. But when I set out their bags, I'm also gonna set out this little Elf on the Shelf book called The Elf on the Shelf's Night Before Christmas. I found this at Target. So I'll read that to them on Christmas Eve. And then also every year I like to give my kids a popcorn tin. I found this one at Big Lots and it's got, let's see, it's got three different kinds of popcorn, I believe. It's got caramel, white cheddar, and butter. So they'll get that with their little Christmas Eve bags and their story. And we'll probably pop on a Christmas movie or something. So that's everything they're getting on Christmas Eve. So let's go ahead and get into what they're getting in their stockings. All right, I'm trying to get it all laid out here so I can see what's what. But we'll go ahead and start with my daughter. She just turned four years old. So at Big Lots, they always have the cutest 
giant gummies and so i found this gummy bear for her it's like a mega gummy bear it's in the flavor cherry so i got her that i also got her a charger for her tablet we have a charger right now but it's a really short cord so i got her this i think it's four foot long is what it says just a pink braided charger she can use for her tablet and getting into her five below stuff so she loves watches and bracelets and she loves lol so i found her this little lol watch it's just an led watch so i figured she would like that i also got her a little hello kitty keychain for her travel bag also at five below i found these elf on the shelf bath bombs so i got them all one of those they're peppermint scented as far as candy i always like to put some kind of candy in my kids stockings I got these little Rice Krispie, little Santa Rice Krispie chocolates. Um, I always like to get my kids these little Kinder eggs because when you open them up, there's some kind of little toy on the inside and they really like those. So I always like to get them one of those for their stocking. Um, I also got them Reese pieces. And then the last thing that I got her from Five Below is this little Barbie toothbrush it also comes in a little pouch so it comes with the toothbrush and a toothbrush cap and i like that it comes in a little bag so when we travel she can use this little bag but she's at that age where she's really into barbies so when i saw this i knew i had to get it for her and then i also got her this little bottle of hair detangler i found this at walmart it's a two-in-one detangler and refresher spray um, her hair is curly and it can get tangled when we wash it so i always like to use some kind of detangler in it when i brush it and then this is what i was telling you guys that i ordered online um but all the kids got cat and mitten sets because they're getting bicycles this year and we've been having some pretty chilly days lately and so i wanted to make sure that i got them some hat and gloves to wear when you know they want to go out and ride their bicycles but i found these at kohl's i think they were about ten dollars each hers is squishmallows so i think she'll like that all right so let's go ahead and get into what i got the boys so let's start with my seven year old soon to be eight year old boy found these little charging stands at big lots they both have switches and so i thought they would like this to charge their switch on it's just a little thing that plugs into the cord and then they can set their switch onto this it says it's for the switch and the switch light so found those at big lots so i got him a charger this is a six foot braided charger um he's like the only one in the house that doesn't have a charger of his own he's always borrowing his brothers so i got him a charger i'm not sure what has happened to his chargers but over time we lost them and i just haven't replaced them but that i found at big lots also from big lots i got them both these giant gummy remotes obviously they're not going to eat the whole thing but it's still a fun little gift because they both love to play video games so i got them both a controller but canes is a blue raspberry and i'll show you guys in a second but i got him that i also got him a little keychain he's really into mario this i found at five below so he can put that on his bag also got him a little elf on the shelf peppermint bath bomb and then he's really into hot wheels so his and i've just noticed it came with a little timer as well uh race didn't come with a timer but they can share the timer oh and his also comes with floss <laughs> so anyways i got him that they all got the same candy so he got his little santa rice crispy chocolate his kinder egg and then Reese pieces and for him they'll probably all share this but for him, I got the 3-in-1 Coconut Splash Suave Kids. Um, I think it's shampoo and, yes, shampoo, conditioner, and body wash. I found this at Walmart. It was just down the regular shampoo aisle. And then his hat and glove set because, like I said, he loves Mario. I got him the Mario hat and glove set. It's got a cute little pom-pom ball at the top. So, anyways, I got him that. Right, and then moving on to my soon-to-be 13-year-old boy for him. He also got a charging stand for his switch. Um, his little remote is cherry flavor. He got all the same candy as the other two. Also grabbed him a little peppermint um, bath bomb. He doesn't really take baths that much, but I still wanted to, you know, 
give him a bath bomb. He's more of like into the shower phase now where he doesn't really care to take baths. He wants to take a shower. <laughs> but I still wanted to get him one for his toothbrush. I got him this Colgate vibrating toothbrush. It's the Colgate 360 Vibrate. I have this toothbrush right now and I really like it. So I think he's gonna like it as well. But I found that at Walmart. And then I also got him a little keychain. He really likes Sonic, so I got him a Sonic keychain. That's from Five Below. And then um, he needs some kind of little earbuds. So we're gonna give these a try. I found these at Big Lots. They were $15. So they really were not expensive at all. But like I said, I'm gonna give them a try with him and see how they work. But anyways, I figured he could use these for school. Then for him, I picked up this Old Spice Hydro Wash Pure pure sport plus um i found this at walmart sometimes i will get like the little full shower kit for him to open as like a present but because i'm just putting this in his stocking i just got a bottle um that would fit in his stocking he still has plenty of deodorant and stuff that would come in the kit anyway so i just got him the body wash and his hat and glove set is sonic the hedgehog so because he likes Sonic, I wanted to get him the Sonic one. So that's all for my kids' stockings and Christmas Eve bags. I'll go ahead and share with you what I got for my dogs this year. I am still looking for Charlie and Ellie a sweater. And I'm having trouble finding their sweaters because Ellie, she's a pit bull, so she's really thick. And so I need a sweater that's actually going to fit her. I have not came across one in the store yet. Um, so I'm still looking for that and then Charlie she's like super small so <laughs> I haven't found a sweater small enough yet but I'm still looking so for Palm she's at the perfect size so her sweaters I can find easily um, and I got her this little pink and white sweater I found this at Ross and then I figured for my two little dogs that are inside I got them these little toy donuts these are from TJ Maxx and I'll just split them amongst them. I might give one to Ellie since we do have three, but I don't know if she would enjoy that as much. She really likes to play fetch outside. So I got her this Frisbee and it's like a rubber, uh, I don't know, a thick rubber <laughs> uh, Frisbee. So I figured she'll really enjoy that. And it's also for tough play. She can be really tough on her toys. So maybe that will last us a while. But that I found at TJ Maxx. And then also from TJ Maxx, I think everything else in this bag is from TJ Maxx. Um, I found these little mini, they're little llamas, but they crinkle. I try to get them toys that they can pick up easily with their mouth. So I got them these little llamas. I thought they were so cute. And then they all got some treats. So for the two, little ones i got them the petite greenies and then for ellie my pit bull i got her the regular size greenies so that's all they're getting except i just need to find ellie's sweater and charlie's sweater first year we had charlie she was even smaller than she is now because she was a puppy and i had to make her a sweater out of a sock so I may have to end up doing that again. Before we get into the family members gifts, I wanted to show you guys, I had got this last year from Sam's Club. It was after Christmas when they were on clearance. I've literally been saving it since then. Um, I had it put up in the closet over at my mom's. We're finally able to pull that out this year, but Sam's Club probably has them out again this year. I haven't looked, but I'm sure they probably have something like this. Um, you can really find them anywhere though. I think I've seen them at uh, Big Lots and I want to say Walmart had some as well, but it comes with uh, the plate. It's got some little cookies. I'm probably not going to keep the food stuff in here because I have been holding on to this for a year. I really don't feel like the food stuff is safe anymore, so I'll probably throw that out. But it comes with a little notepad with pencils. They can write a note to Santa. It comes with a little milk glass, um, hot cocoa mix. That may be okay to use. But yeah, that's what we'll be using this year to set out for our Santa milk and cookies. All right, so let's go ahead and get into family members gifts. I'm not gonna call names, but maybe this will give you some ideas if you have some family members in mind and you're not really sure 
what to get for them. So Big Lots had these Bluetooth speakers. They had all kinds of cool little Bluetooth speakers. So these are really good for teenagers and preteens. Um, but this is a Vortex speaker, multicolor LED. It does light up and it goes with the beat of the music. But the cool thing about this one, it's got the cyclone in the middle that spins as well. So teenagers, preteens, I think that's, and you can't really go wrong with a really cool Bluetooth speaker for their room. For little girls, my daughter actually got one of these for her birthday and my niece, I can call her out. Obviously she's not gonna be watching my videos, but um, she was really interested in this camera that Ray got for her birthday. And so I knew right then this would be the perfect Christmas gift to get for her, but it's a little uh, digital camera that can record videos, take pictures. Um, Ray's had a lot of fun with hers. So I found this one at Walmart. I just ordered it on my pickup. So they do have them in the store. And this I have shared before. I got one for myself recently. These little um, fireplace wax warmers. They are the cutest little wax warmers. I have a little fire. It looks like a legit fireplace and it is adorable. So I have mine sitting on my TV stand and it just really looks cozy in there at night. But these, I feel like you can't go wrong with either. Everybody loves a wax warmer, especially a little fireplace one. Big Lots had these alarm clocks, and I know somebody that needs an alarm clock that has all these plugs on it. So it's got two regular plugs, and then it's got a place to plug in a USB cord. So um, Big Lots is where I got that. And then these, y'all, they just make the best stocking stuffers. There's a little hair. Um, they look like whisks. I have one and it feels so good on your scalp. So I feel like these are just, you know, good little fillers for somebody's stocking. I also have something coming for my nephew. I'll pop a picture up on screen for you guys, but he's really into Marvel. And I figured since his sister was going to be getting a Bluetooth speaker, I would get him some kind of cool little light for his room. Um, so that's what I got for him. But yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and get into some wrapping. So if you need some rapid motivation, pop me up on your TV, make some coffee, and let's get started. All right, so I wanted to get started with the Christmas Eve bags first and just share with you how I'm putting those together and how I plan to set those out. So each of them are getting their own gingerbread houses because we have done shared gingerbread houses before and they fight over who gets to do what. So that's why I chose to do separate little houses this year. I'm just gonna put in their little hot cocoa bombs with their slippers. And then this is how I plan to set them out on Christmas Eve. So they'll have their bags and then they'll see their little popcorn tin with their night before Christmas elf on the shelf storybook. wrapping paper I found at Ross this year. It is the cutest wrapping paper. My favorite is the puppy print. The red one is like a shimmery, glittery type of wrapping paper. I did not have good luck with that one. So I wrapped about two presents with it and then I figured out it just wasn't going to work because of the glitter. My tape didn't want to stick to it and I think I'm going to have to rewrap the presents that I did wrap with it. But I love the puppy dog and the plaid one. They're so cute. If you guys missed what I got my kids for Christmas this year, I will leave that video linked down below. 
Um, I got most of their gifts done. I still have a few things coming in the mail and then Santa's gonna be bringing his stuff. I do always make sure that my kids get the same amount of gifts each. So one doesn't have more than the other or less than the other. They all have the same amount. And I try to stay in the same general ballpark as far as money goes. Um, it's kind of hard to do that when you have kids that are different ages and they have different interests. Things don't always cost the same. So I'm not super strict about it. As long as I'm getting presents that I know that they are going to be happy about, I'm not really too concerned about you know, trying to spend exactly the same amount on each child. Like for instance, things that interest my 13 year old are probably going to cost more than things that my four year old is interested in. So I just try to keep it as even as I can, but I'm not being super strict about it. And I don't want to get too preachy here, but the amount you spend or what you have under your Christmas tree, whether you have zero presents or you have 50, it does not matter one bit. It's the reason for the season that we all need to remember and the greatest gift we've already received through Jesus Christ. How lucky can this so hard 
me today I really hope you guys enjoyed the video and I hope that it gave you some ideas if you need some last-minute stocking stuffer ideas for your kids or some last-minute Christmas gifts for your family or your pets I hope that I gave you some ideas right now I do have a Christmas giveaway going on I will announce the winner on Friday so if you haven't entered that I'll have it linked down below but thank y'all for hanging out with me remember to leave your butterfly emoji down in the comments and I'll see you in the next one you know it's Christmas when the snow starts to fall then you know it's Christmas for the children above all. Then you know it's Christmas, cause Santa's on his way. We stand under the mistletoe, and then it's Christmas Day. The joyful times we witness. Forever stays with us